we've got a vlogging camera. We have a vlogging camera. Wow. How do people do these mirror things? I don't even know what to do with it now. Where do I start? Welcome to the world of YouTube. Who do I think I am? I have no idea what to say. I don't know where to look. I don't know what to do. This is all very much too professional for me and I haven't got a script. Don't like scripts anyway, so I don't know why I'm asking for a script. Ah. I need to think of like a really cool way to start my vlogs. So just go with the hello. Hello. Hi. Mm, I think that's really uncool. I also need to stop saying so. It's very, very annoying. If I say so before every sentence, it's the most annoying thing in the world. It drives me insane. So, there we go. How, why, what is wrong with me? Okay, let's start afresh. Tomorrow, why am I even starting with tomorrow? It's today. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we here? Why are you here? Why am I here? Adidas. So tomorrow, okay. <laughs> so hard. Tomorrow we're going to be going to Fox Hills Golf Club to shoot some Instagram reels. I've been given five items of clothing that I need to style up. In fact, I was actually given outfits that I needed to do and I said, can I style them up myself because I don't like people picking my clothes. Apart from my boyfriend, I probably would let him potentially pick my outfit and then I will have to review it and I'll have to come back with whether I want to change anything. But I'd probably let him pick a little bit. Anyone else, probably not, unless you're like a designer or someone really cool, and then maybe. In fact, I think I look like a potato most of the time, and I try to stop looking like a potato, but sometimes you just can't help the potato, so you just have to embrace being a potato, and that's okay. So on my Instagram stories, I did style up a few outfits. I meant to pick five outfits. I currently have eight outfits. Cool, well done, Mia. Actually, should I show you the pieces that I am... Um... I've been asked to style up. Okay, so I said so again. The first item of clothing I have been asked to style up are the lovely EQ, are the lovely EQTs. I actually have two pairs. The other pair is a little bit dirty, so we've tried to keep these ones clean ready for the shoot tomorrow. So I look all prim and proper. Really, really comfortable, would recommend. I've tried actually quite a few of the Adidas golf shoes and so far out of all of them, most comfortable. The second item of clothing I've been asked to style is this golf skirt. Actually fits very, very nicely. Can I show you? I might show you in a minute. I'll just show you all five pieces first and then I'll see if I can try them on. Maybe, don't know yet. The other piece I've been asked to style up is this top. It's actually men's. I love baggy tees. I just think they're really cool and I just like being free. What's really annoying is that tomorrow is meant to be about 11 degrees and I'm styling up summer outfits. I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna have to take a... Oh gosh, this is gonna be all crumply, isn't it? Oh, I don't like crumply clothes. I'm gonna have to take a duvet. It's the only option. Item number three. Nope. Item number four. Wow, you wouldn't know I've done a math degree considering I cannot even count. Item number four is this dress. Vibrant pink. What are we saying? Yes. It's got pockets. That's all you need, right? And it's actually stretchy material, which means as my belly grows when I have lunch, I'll still be able to play golf. And then final item that we're styling up is this plain navy blue sweater. It has a little Adidas logo right here. Just plain. Can't really tell it's even Adidas. And we all know I love sweaters. Please don't be alarmed if you see me in the same outfit every single day because once I love an item, I just like to wear it all the time. Can't blame a girl for loving something. I just like the linen things that I love. And the most important part, which I've not been asked to style up, but are underrated, like I said to you, socks. Socks. These socks are new socks. How can you not like them? How can you not like these socks? I think they're really cute. Love cute little socks. My room has genuinely turned into a warehouse. And I just have so many boxes and I don't know where to put anything. Ah! 
So I stop with the sew, stop with the sew, stop with the sew. I didn't wear these trainers the other day on the golf course because I didn't want to get the muddy or dirty for the shoot tomorrow because I am that sad, sad Mia, sad little life, sad little life. Anyway, these are cool. We are all set up for tomorrow. All my little outfits. Tell you, this is one nifty little camera. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. All that stuff is going to go nicely into a suitcase along with my clubs and I have written myself a list somewhere of additional items I need to take. The thing is, I'm very good at remembering things but I forget a lot of things. So I have to write them down so I don't forget them, which probably means I'm not good at remembering. But I remember that I've written something down. I just think I have too many things to think about. If I write them down, then I know what I need to remember that I've already forgotten. In fact, I just know that I'm going to forget something and by writing it down, I'm remembering to remember. Don't judge me. We're all packed up and we're all ready to go. I think I have about an hour's drive and I would love to get a coffee on the way because I feel like I have just woken up and I am very blurry dark. Blurry? Ugh, can't get my words out. Blurry eyed. Can't speak. The car's all foggy, but it looks nice. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. I really hope so anyway. Otherwise, I'm going to freeze to death. And we all know I don't want to freeze. I don't want to freeze. I will catch up with you there. Because my camera is currently in a very pro provocative? Predict it's in a position that could cause harm to me and my camera if I were to drive and not move it. Welcome to the glamorous life of doing video shoots during COVID. You have to get changed in a toilet. We're going to be putting on my first outfit, which is going to be the white sweater. Well, we're starting that up and I will show you what it looks like in this lovely toilet mirror. <laughs> what is life? What is life? This is actually a tennis skirt, which is very cute. And I'm pairing it up with this sweater and then just a white collared top underneath. And then I'm wearing my favorite shoe. Same again, so I'll come to there and then I'll say go. Ready, three, two, yep. I didn't even say go, did I? Change. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, oh, that was hard. It's hard to knock that out. Go. Yeah, cool. This is the next outfit. I've got an orange jumper on and I'm wearing the Stan Smiths, which I've never worn before. In the lovely toilets again. Yeah, good. So we've just changed into the next outfit. It is the golf top. So I just had to do something really naughty and get changed in that shed over there because A, the changing rooms are shut at the moment due to COVID and B, I had to get changed therefore in the toilet as you know but I just got told off by an old lady saying I shouldn't be changed there but I have nowhere else to change so I kind of ran away <laughs> now I've got changed in, a, in the back of like a shed because I just don't know where to go. Not, not all golf courses are like this I promise it's just some people are just not very nice I don't know why but then another lady did come in and say that was a really mean lady and I'm fine and I was doing okay and I could just get changed in the toilet because there is nowhere else so that was really nice anyway on to the next shoot we've got Chris over there shooting his bunker shot and we've got a lovely little par three course here and then this is the driving range Howdy. what are you wearing wearing the das he's got much cooler clubs than me Okay, now we're on to the fourth outfit change, again in that wonderful little shed. It's really doing me quite the delight. I've got this white top on with a nice zip. We have the blue sweater, trousers and EQTs. These are the new ones. Haven't been worn yet. Actually brought out the tissue paper with me, didn't I? 
Yeah, there we go. Nice one. Nice. Did you catch that? That's a ball. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Thank you. Wrap so, it up. So if I do that to that. Mia, we might not have the pink dress for you. Oh, classic. Chris, you're busy getting these dresses lightened down. We're in our feature outfit now, which is this white top, a vec, a nice blue skirt, which actually I think I wore. Did I wear it earlier? I can't remember if I wore it earlier. Maybe I wore it earlier. And we're going to be shooting some stuff on <gasps> the course, exciting! Only smile, it's my only facial expression. <laughs> That's not the worst facial expression to have, is it? A smile, <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. get some of these shots. Off again. He's got his kilty on, doing it for the fans, the kilty fans. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, really nice backdrop. That to oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, I didn't, I see what you mean, but I, just, I don't get your <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a kilty reel. Do you know what a kilty is? I didn't know what a kilty was either. It is associated with the Stan Smith trainers. This that goes on top of them. This is a kilty! So you order a buggy? Nice, this is cool from back here. So, we need you to stay where you are. Exact same pose, please. Just move from here. Be the water bottle. Become the water bottle. I am the water bottle. <laughs> Sorry, that. I should have. A bit more aggressive. Yeah. Ooh. Absolutely not. Oh, did you oh. see that? Chris can reply with Kilty, Kilty baby. And then that's yeah. how the re. <laughs> yeah. What's your go to goal? Um, EQT nice. at the moment. Nice. Strong. 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 Like, oh. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> We're having ourselves a little at-home debrief after a very full-on day. I have come to realise that I am not born to be a model. Do you know how awkward it is to stand in front of a camera with people watching you and do a pose? What are you meant to do? What do you do with the arms? What do you do with your... We all think models are like, oh, models. It's a really hard job. I am much better at video. At least you're looking bad from multiple angles and not just one angle. And with a the video, there might be a chance you'll get a good angle in there. With the still, you're either looking good or you look bad. I didn't even eat until about 5.30 and I was starving. I just don't understand how some people can just go through the whole day without eating. It'd be crazy. But I didn't want to be that person who was like, so food? Honestly, by the end, I had Genuinely zero clue what was even going on anymore. I had no idea how all of the videos were going to come together. When I do a reel, well, most of my reels are just a swing video. But when I did my one TikTok of my outfit, it took me about five minutes in my bedroom and I didn't even think this much into it, to be absolutely honest with you. I'm that bad at social media. And at the end of the day, we had some magic people put together some magic video editing much better than I could ever do and they created this. <laughs>